What's good, Fight Fans? It's your boy, Mr. Quick, back again with another video on Mr. Quick Talks Boxing. Now, let me say Happy New Year to each and every one. I hope everybody's excited, getting ready, geared up for the new year. I know I'm excited, and as a Fight Fan, I'm very excited because we got some good fights coming up in January to start off to kick off the new year. So, but let me get started with this first fight that's coming up next week. Um, that's very dear to me because um, a lot of things happened leading up to that fight. Um, it was an assault happened. Um, that kind of led up to bent that fight being postponed. It was scheduled in October, um, but now it's you know they had to re, you know they had to reschedule it, which is coming up in January, um, and that's the female fight that I'm talking about, which is Clarissa Shield versus Ivana Habazin. Um, that's that's a good fight because there's a lot on the line. Um, um, it's a redemption fight um, to you know to, it's kind of like a payback fight for um, Ivana to get back at Clarissa, but on the flip side, it's Clarissa. Trying to her quest is to become a three three division world champ quicker than any fighter ever. Um, the one who holds that title now um, is um, the, you know Lomachenko. Um, so basically, it's a lot going back and forth. Keep in mind that you know Clarissa is the face of boxing, um, two time for female fighters. Um, let me you know let me make you know make that you know make that clarification because she's a really she's, she's really doing her thing. Um, she really talked the talk and she's walking the walk. She is the quote greatest woman of all time. She's really making a stamp for that. I mean, nobody has, you know, she talked the talk and no matter what, she backs it up. Until then, I mean, she, you know, she's undisputed. I mean, now she's she pretty much she going up in, I mean, she's come, she can go up, come down and wait. She can, she pretty much can write her own, you know, write her own ticket right now. Do what he, do what she needs to do. I kind of like, I kind of like how she's flowing right now. I mean, certain, I have some, I have some, some negatives about it, but at the end of the day, she's really trying to put boxing on the forefront for her female fighters. I feel like she can, um, cut back on a certain, on some certain things, but at the end of the day, it's a lot of positives for her, and um, she's in she's in the, she's in the right direction. She's moving in the right direction. I feel like, and she's really trying to uh, bring boxing for females to the forefront. Now, keep in mind um, at that weigh in, I want to talk about the, what happened at the weigh in. If you haven't been following it um, during the weigh in in October um, that she was scheduled to fight, um, her um, Ivana Habazin um, trainer was assaulted, and later come to find out it was by her brother, um, Artis Mack. Um, you know, he he assaulted him. I mean, he hit him and sucker punched him. Basically, there's it, it no, there's no, no question, no questions about it. He sucker punched him and uh, he fell, um, hit him on a concrete floor, fell back. Um, he got, he got get injured pretty bad. He's not gonna be in, he's not gonna be in the corner, um, uh, you know, with um, Ivana. But uh, you know, it kind of, it kind of threw a sour thing, you know, threw a kind of a negative impact and of kind of like a black eye to female fighters, um, and you know, on the aspect of that. But at the end of the day. I mean, the the show must go on. I feel like Ivana's still gonna, you know, do what she needs to do. Um, still, in my opinion, <laughs> I don't think she has what it takes to um, to knock Shields off her off her um, off her path of becoming a three division world champ. Um, I think she's gonna do what she needs to do. But as as I always say, one punch can change the fight at any given time. Um, the last couple of fights, you're only as good as your last fight. So. Basically, in my opinion, like I said, um, Clarissa has came out a lot, has poised. I mean, she's come out more of a well, you know, she sit back on her, sits back on her shots and stuff like that. She wait. She's well controlled now. She changed trainers. Um, Ivana, her last fight, she got blew out. I mean, I don't think, like I said, I don't think she has what it takes, but at the end of the day, I give respect to any fighter that comes in the ring, and just my opinion, I just feel like she's not going to do what she needs to do to knock Clarissa off while becoming the quickest ch boxer, period, to become a three-division champ. So, at the end of the day, she has, I mean, Clarissa has what it takes, two-time Olympic gold medalist. I mean, she's doing what she has to do. She's trying to represent the female fighters. I love that about her. I mean, I have the utmost respect for her, but I feel like, you know, the trash talking, Leading up to that fight in October, it kind of like, kind of went over the over the top a little bit. Um, me personally, I felt like I mean her um her sisters or whatever they didn't really need to be they didn't really need to be on that on on that way on the on the stage with her. I mean they could have they could have scaled back or or you know because James but sure all he wanted to do was like to me was look at the scale 
and they made it they made it kind of hard for him. And I mean, as soon as he if you watch the video, I mean, he he really well, all he wanted to do was look at the scale, and and it just blew up from there. And then you know, words were going back and forth, no good words. I mean, you know, trust me, but for him to get assaulted and and you know it you know it was it was pretty bad. I mean, I take it from me. Um, I don't I'm not with all the sucker punch and stuff like that. You can you can talk smack and and you know this and that and the other, but you know. As a professional fighter, you still got to have a level of respect for the opponent, despite your, you know, your trash talking. So with that being said, I mean, no matter what, she's still, she's still the face of um, female fighters, Clarissa. So, I mean, I hope both fighters um, have a, a, a level of respect after the fight. I mean, at the, you know, hoping, you know, I think it's going to be a KO. I'm just going to be, be honest with it. I mean, it's going to be a KO. I mean, I feel like Clarissa is going to really going to be going to put the pressure on her. And if Ivana can withstand that pressure and um, she can, you know, take her punches and stuff like that, I mean, she can take it because Clarissa is definitely a counter puncher and she can really, she can really close the show once she gets you hurt. She really can do that. But at the end of the day, she only has two knockouts. So my thing is, my thing is for me, in order for more, more fight fans to gravitate from female UFC um, fighters is to is to really have some really have some spunk to the female fighters they need, they need they really need some knockouts I mean most most female fighters they go to distance I mean it's two minute rounds I understand that but when you look at UFC fighters <laughs> I mean they're not really they're, I mean the UFC fighters they're really putting they really putting it down so and uh, rumor has it that she she's thinking about going to the Going to the the UFC, I mean, it may be a possible clash in that and in, in, in that as well. So Amanda Nunes, I think that's her name. I mean, she, they talking about having a, a matchup, and Amanda already already went on record said she she don't think she can hang with her. So I mean, if that happens, I'm all for it. So I'm excited. So with that being said, I'm going to close the video. But here's my thing. Let me know what y'all want to discuss on on the channel. I mean, this is my second video. Like I said, I'm just I'm I'm progressing. But some of the things I want to I want to have on the video on I mean on the channel is um, my thoughts on how this person can win, how this fighter can win, and then my thoughts on why this other um, opponent can win. Now, I think those are some good topics that I want to try to bring up. But I want to be able to interact in the comments. Um, I know I'm just like I said, I'm just getting started, but I'm excited about the journey. I mean, it doesn't happen overnight, but I have to get my process um, going. Um, I have a lot. I have a lot to bring forward to the channel, but you have to do it in stages. Um, I'm excited. But again, thank you to everyone who watched my first introduction video. Please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell because I'm going to be bringing some content. I mean, in stages, and I'm 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 definitely, definitely, definitely going to try to bring you the latest updates as well as as soon as it happens when I can. Again, thank you. Subscribe, watch the video, share it out. Again, this is Mr. Quick out.